All right, if you're wondering about maintenance, yeah, we got it this week on June 6th at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. By the way, hello everyone, I'm Phantom Yosha, and if you're new to the channel, I upload videos weekly where I break down update details and new information for PSO2 New Genesis into digestible bites so you always know what's going on in the game. And if you do play this game, then if you could subscribe and or like this video, I would appreciate it as it helps the channel. Anyway, there's a lot of updates this month, so let's go ahead and get into it. Let's address the elephant in the room with the highly anticipated creative spaces, which will provide a free creative space for free to play players and two spaces for premium players. You will be able to build mazes, houses, towers, puzzles, mini games, and more. Included is the blueprint system, which works like the lookbook, where you can share your creation and other players can copy it, as long as they have the materials for it. Next, we have chapter six, part one of the main story. Now, the reason why this is called part one is to provide more story updates at a faster rate instead of every three to six months. This update will also increase EXP received via main story quests for faster leveling and playthrough of chapters one through five. The battle power and story quest requirements that prevent you from continuing the main story quest will also be removed. And enemies levels will be lowered with these quests to make it easier to complete faster. Next is the class skills. All classes are getting new skills. I can't really list each one as the headline didn't show all of them, but definitely each class will have one. Also being implemented are three types of holograms that can be placed in cities, open fields, and combat zones, which consisting of objects, effects, and stamps. Do note they do disappear after a while, and there's a limit to how much you can place at a time. Next in this long ass list of updates is cell shading. You can adjust the outline and shadow to your desired look and it will affect all characters in game. A new feature called easy photo mode will make it easier for you to take pictures of characters. You can enable depth of field and change its expression, vocal ratio and vocal point. Photo rooms can also now be set up at each arc space. However, you will not be able to move as a party and access NPCs. A new slider will be implemented which will let you control the waist gravity on your character which fixes the issue with skirts and outerwears that just seem to float around your waist instead of be on your waist. And when you complete a cocoon or tower you can earn a skill point and the learn skills window will appear and you can assign these skills on the fly. You can also now reassign those skill points freely without using any items at the skill points counter. The item search function of player shops will also allow for typos when searching items. Candidate item of similar spelling will be displayed. Next is base PSO. Will no longer be automatically downloaded with NGS and will now be considered as free DLC for all platforms to save hard drive space. Now for alliances, alliance records will no longer reward SG. What this means is you will be able to use alliance badges earned to exchange for the SG. You'll just only get the beta reactors as a reward. We also have a new keyword and it's dragon underscore rare underscore drop. Just type this in any chat and you should receive 50 SG, a sword camo, and two rappy fritters. And that's it for updates. Now we get to the paid content. So for AC Scratch is Designer Dreams June 23. This is basically the second round of items from the PS 210th Anniversary Item Design Contest, which includes new variations of portable holograms, some lobby actions like our Umbrella Share, and the Dark Mage uh, motion. And now the paid DLC is the Sonic Lab and the Resorts Build Pack. Uh, the Sonic Lab will cost about $10, while the Resort Build Pack will be 580 AC. Um, the Sonic Lab will include Sonic Suits and C Space Pack. I, I assume that's Creative Space Pack. Uh, it's paid DLC, which will include a Sonic Suits and Sonic themed build parts for Creative Space. We'll also be getting another DLC pack called Resorts Build Parts Pack. So you can enjoy a resort themed build parts in a pack available at the AC Shop. It will be 580 AC. While the Sonic collab will be $10. And I think that about wraps up today's video. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. I hope my info was helpful to you in some way. And again, if you would like to subscribe to the channel, that would help the channel greatly. And thank you to those who have been supporting this channel. Till next week, have a good one and later.